when I started CrossFit, which was back in 2013, uh, when I was living in Indonesia, that's where I was introduced to CrossFit. I immediately fell in love with the sport because of the community of it. Uh, I remember I used to be, I used to go to the gym at some, at fitness first. So every day I would get out of the gym and I would drive back home on this way was this literally the shed where I would see people just half naked, just doing some weird shit. And I, I literally like for, I think for three, four months, I used to cross that place every day and I never had the guts to walk in and say, what the fuck are you guys doing? You know, like, but I would look at them every time when I would cross. And then I remember one day I just, I was walking back home. So I was like, let me just walk in. And I walked in and I, I walked in and everyone was just, they were getting ready to do a class workout. It was a Saturday morning and uh, the gym, the, cro the name of the place was called CrossFit Equator. And I walked in and I was like, hi, I'm BT, what are you guys doing? And they were like, we're about to do a workout. I was like, oh, cool. Can I jump in? They were like, yeah. I was like, what's the workout? They were like, oh, there's like, we've got to run. And then we're going to do some pull-ups. And then we're going to do this uh, thing called thrusters. And I was like, okay, I can run. I can do pull-ups. I thought I was really fit because, well, I thought I was. I, I think the first 400 meters I did, and then I got onto the pull-up bar and I started doing those strict pull-ups like a bodybuilder. And these guys started doing these skipping pull-ups and I was just like what the fuck is going on and and it was just absolute chaos it was just mayhem right and I I just immediately fell in love I was like this energy is just unreal like unbelievable energy and the next Saturday they had a competition so I signed up for it and just I never looked back since then um Fast forward 2018 is when I qualified for the games. Um, yeah, I think since that day, I was like, I want to compete in the sport. And I didn't know how to compete in it. I had no idea. I had to learn everything myself. Luckily, I was introduced to my mentor and my coach and my one of my best mates, Gustavo. When I was visiting London, he became my coach. And, you know, like... Um, we just trained really hard and our goal was always to win the Open. That was it. We never aspired anything else. Like, at least I never did. And my goal was like, maybe I can qualify for the regional someday. But then 2019, the rules changed that if someone won the... Uh, 2018, if someone won the Open, um, they would qualify for the Games. And I remember that was one of the toughest Opens I've ever done because... The competition was stiff and it is stiff now. Uh, there were people from all over the world representing Pakistan who you never knew, who you don't know. And then you just had to go and perform. Um, so yeah, I remember like, it was a great, it was just, un, it was just surreal. Like I just, I just never expected in my wildest dreams to do that. And, uh, but it was a very proud moment uh, to do that. Unfortunately, I think, like everyone else in smaller, not so mainstream sports, didn't get the right attention that should have been given so that a bigger impact could have been created. Um, but I think that was one of the reasons why we're pissed off and we want to do the Matrix with games now. <laughs>